289 degrees, distance infinite. Well, Commando Cody, what do you make of it? There's no doubt about it, Mr. Henderson. These are radio signals between some distant planet and a mysterious receiver here on Earth. I would say that our enemy from outer space is preparing to step up his activities against Earth. can find out how Commander Cody maintains that screen, I'll be able to devise a way to penetrate it and conquer Earth. What else have you? This problem deals with Earth and its relation to the universe. So, Commander Cody, I've been instructed by the Interplanetary Commission to ask you to locate this person in outer space. And if his aims are, as we fear, a menace to the welfare and safety of the Earth, to eliminate that menace. Yes, sir. I'll keep you informed. Good, and call on us for any help we can give you. Goodbye, Joan, Ted. That's quite an order, Commando. But absolutely necessary, Ted. This atomic ball I just analyzed passed through our cosmic dust blanket. Fortunately, it was rendered harmless by radioactivity. Otherwise, every person would have been paralyzed within a five-mile radius of where it struck. Now, we don't know which planet's involved. What we do know from the strength of the signals returning from Earth, that our mysterious receiver must be near here. That should give us a starting point. You mean by using triangulation to locate the radio? With a slight variation. Joan, set up a triangulation station here in the office. Ted, get out this high ground as soon as possible. I'll put on my flight suit and cruise around this general area, carrying a small direction receiver. We'll make a rough triangulation, just enough to locate the beam. Then I'll fly directly down the beam to the location of our mysterious receiver. Are you in position, Ted? Yes, Commando. I got a bearing on the signals. It's 63 degrees. Did you get that, Joan? Yes, Commando. You're about six miles due west of the intersection point. Good. Get moving, Ted. I'll call you again as soon as I locate the beam. On my way, Commando. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm going in, Ted. It's in the Grayburn building, corner of 8th and Main, southeast corner office, 10th floor. You got it? I'll tell the police. My work is successful. I'll land a horde of space slaves and take over Earth. Commando Cody! Hey, what's the 
idea of the guard. That should be quite obvious, Ross. Commando Cody's activities are of a highly secret nature. Hmm. That makes it a little rough on us, doesn't it, Hardy? The ruler has invented many things. This little device, the Volca Scepter, should give us the information we desire, regardless of Commando Cody's guards. So it's obvious from these records and the equipment found in Hardy's office that he headed an extensive spy ring and was transmitting information to a person called the Ruler, now on the planet Venus. Venus? Are you sure? Listen to this. Excellent, Hardy. The metals indicated in the translubinal very method are to be found on Venus. I'll go there at once and break down the formula in the mine shop. If my work is successful, I'll land a horde of space slaves and take over Earth. There's no question about it. If the ruler works out the translubinal barrier formula, he can attack Earth. What is the range of your rocket ship, Commando? Practically unlimited. By using my system of concentrated uranium to create a continuous atomic pile, I can reach even Venus and return. That's the answer I'd hoped you'd give, Commando. Well, I hate to. We'll take off tomorrow morning. The hopes of... Now see that secrecy is maintained. I, well, there's little more to say. Good luck. Thank you, sir. We'll need it. You might as well relax, Hardy. We can't wander rule as long as our space radio is under guard. I know, I know. Some way, somehow, I... I have it. Drive to the little chemist shop on John Street near Gardner. Why? What's up? I can't warn the ruler about Commando Cody's visit. Possibly I can prevent him from reaching Venus. <laughs> Cosmic dust blanket which protects Earth from invasion by outer spaceships is radioactive. I'll get a special metal my chemist friend has developed which is sensitive to radioactivity. We'll place this metal in the rocket propulsion tube. As the ship passes through the cosmic blanket, the metal will melt, plugging the jet vent, causing a flame out. That's right, and it'll work too, except for one thing. What's that? That rocket ship is heavily guarded. How are we going to get past them? Nothing is impossible, Ross. Hurry now. All right. Commando Cody, what happened? Definitely not. Neither he nor the other guard. They'll think they fell asleep at the post. Now remember to place this exactly as I explained to you. All right. Work quietly. The guard's inside. Can in you go? Good morning, sir. You can drive the car back to town. We'll radio when we want you to meet us. Sure, Commando. Have a good trip, sir. Thanks. We'll stow the gear after we get in the stratosphere.
everything is working perfectly. Take over, Ted. Set a course direct for Venus. Yes, sir. Venus it is. Easy, Ted. We're entering the cosmic dust blanket. Turn on the dispersal ray. This always makes me nervous. Something's wrong. We're down to half speed. Hmm. The atomic pile checks normal. We're almost through the cosmic dust curtain. Flame out! The jet vents must be plugged. Everything else checks normal. Hold on, I'm gonna try to blast it clear. There's no need for me to tell you that our lives depend on getting this ship underway again and quickly. Our pilot jet is of no use to us out here in space. We must get our flame again before the tubes are entirely cold. Ted, put on the helmet. Yes. Joan, get me the electrothermal torch. I'm going into the tube from the outside. Maybe I can cut new vents. from the ship, pull me back. All jets. All jets work. Set the mechanical pilot, Ted. We better see if we're dangerously radioactive and decontaminate ourselves. See what Venus looks like? After coming this far, I should say so. Great looking place. Very. Fly over at about 5,000. Right. We're looking for a mountain that has in it the metal contained in the transluminal vari formula, rubinium. We should be able to locate the ore deposit with this instrument. There. 
Yeah, looks like it. Veer to the right, Ted. Land beyond that next range of hills. Prepare for landing. Number four. An airborne craft like nothing I've ever seen on Venus is landing at coordinate 7 18. Uh huh. Describe it. Cylindrical with flames coming from a tube in the rear end. Does it have landing skids on either side? Yes, sir. Then we have a visitor from Earth. A very distinguished visitor. Commander Cody, Sky Marshal of the Universe. Keep constant watch and report every move. Yes, sir. Commander Cody. You can take off your helmet. The air in here is good. Commander Cody, Sky Marshal of the Universe. As one scientist to another, I must congratulate you. You have conquered space. A great achievement for an Earthman. You speak English. I speak all languages equally well. One day I will rule the universe. I must be able to communicate with my subjects. Apparently, you already have men on Earth, subject to your commands. And on other planets. I'll use Earth's vast production facilities to supply me with weapons I need to conquer the universe. Atomic weapons? Of course. But far superior to anything you have ever seen. Come. This small ray gun could blast the largest building on your planet, or set at a constant pressure, melt that building as completely as if it were a wax figure held over a flame. You mean it can melt solid stone? Exactly. And uh, this, Commander Cody, is another of my inventions. One which you will see work, but have no knowledge of its power. It would take me days, possibly weeks, to work out a means of piercing the cosmic dust blanket that protects Earth. But you have that knowledge, Commander Cody. I know you would not place this knowledge at my disposal willingly, so I'll take it from you. Seize him!
found that Cody has escaped. Send a car after him. Ted, Joan. Yes, Commando. You overheard? Everything. What a horrible plan. Are you all right, Commando? For the moment, at least. I have one of their ray guns. If I can make it work, I'm going to melt the mountain and seal that mad killer in his cave. There's a tank or some sort of armored car coming. Get the rocket ship ready to take off. We may have to make a run for it. Right. gun is a horrible weapon. I only hope the secret of its construction was buried along with the madman who invented it. If your madman was buried... But, Teddy, must be. We saw the mountain mount under the gun's rays. Well, we can't be sure we've heard the last from the mad ruler of outer space. But we can be sure we've stopped his experiments with the translucent very method. At least the safety of the world is no longer an immediate danger from that direction. Well, that's what Mr. Henderson ordered. Yep, mission accomplished.